Peter Delapena here with Player of the Match Harmeet Singh after a four wicket haul in USC's 14 run win over Canada here in the fourth T20I. With the win, you clinched the series. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And also, congratulations on your performance twice on a hat trick. Take us through your success today. No, I think uh, I batted also today. So, so when I batted, uh, it felt like it was. Uh, the into the week into the wicket length was uh, stopping a bit, so not too much, but you know there was enough assistance for for me to back my stock ball, and uh, that's what I went in with. Uh, that's what I went in strong with my plans uh, to start off, and then in the back end, uh, you know when they were trying to do reverse sweeps and uh, sweeps, then I went a little bit fuller so that they can't dig in, then got a couple of big throws there, and then uh, you know yeah. All in all, you know, it was a wicket-taking day, so so I think got some wickets today. Yeah. So preoccupied following your wicket celebrations, I've got temporary amnesia. I forgot about your batting, <laughs> 34 of 17, and it was quite a sensational end to the innings over the last four overs. You came in in the 16th over, faced two balls and out over, and then you really got going in the 18th, two sixes and a four in that over off Harsh Tucker. You made batting look easy. It wasn't so easy for the guys who came before you. We saw guys scratching around quite a bit. What was the difference for you out there when you came out to the middle? Uh, I've been playing at Prairie View a lot, uh, Houston local also. And then the other thing is, from where I come, we play spin real well. And uh, so, so I, I, uh, I back my plans. And then you know, once once I see the ball, it's in my area. Then I have my area set. That's where I went. You know, when it was slower, I tried to sweep. It was quick. I went went downtown. So so that was the plan, and then try to hit where the where the line of the ball is, and uh, back myself pretty well. So I think it's one of the better wickets we played on here in in uh, in quite a quite some time. So so I think uh, for for me, uh, batting wise, it looked quite flat. You came in in the fourth over and, and got Aaron Johnson with your first ball. He's somebody who caused a lot of damage a few days ago. What did you see on film or just from your vantage point in the field in the previous matches that allowed you to come up with a, a game plan to strike first ball in the way that you did? Yeah, I think uh, his release shot was a sweep or going down the ground. So, so I did not have a deep mid wicket for him. I had a deep uh, backward square leg so that you know, if he tries to get in, get under the ball there. So top edge should go to the fielder there. And uh, the other thing was I wanted to go quick on the stumps so that before he sits down, I hit the pad. So that's what happened actually and uh, went straight on to him. And uh, again, as I said, you know, there was enough for me in the pitch to back my stock ball from the ball one. And, uh, and that's what I did. USA has got a 3-0 lead in this series. You've got one match left tomorrow. What are you hoping to achieve out of tomorrow personally and collectively as a team in order to finish off this series with a sweep? Collectively, pretty simple. 4-0 uh, would, be, would be a great uh, result for us. I think uh, more than the result, I think uh, I really enjoy the brand of cricket we are representing. Uh, and uh, we've been playing a lot of uh, fearless cricket with the bat especially and uh, expressing ourselves uh, especially in the power play the way we have. Today we lost a couple of wickets so we had to you know grind it out in the in the middle overs. But then uh, other than that I think it's been it's been a it's been a great show with the bat from the batters uh, out here and uh, I think if there's something to improve I think I would like to uh, I would like our bowling to be clinic much more clinical maybe tomorrow and uh, and I think uh, I think that'll be that'll be the the best thing on the, on this tour and uh, leading up to Bangladesh, you know, a better batting side. Uh, I think if we if we notch up on our bowling uh, abilities, uh, I think we can create a few upsets with them as well. This is your first series. It's first series for a lot of guys, but whether it's Andres Kaus starting off with two fifties in his first two matches, or you coming out with a performance like today and. Also, you had a couple of wickets uh, a few days ago as well. You guys have looked very comfortable. You haven't looked like debutants, and I know a lot of people were expecting big things out of you with your, the pedigree that you established through both minor league and major league and some of the other tournaments that you play in. You mentioned having a lot of experience playing on Prairie View has allowed you to size up conditions quicker than a lot of other people would. Is there any other reason why you feel you've been able to 
get so comfortable so quickly in your international career, whether from a performance standpoint with your skills or or mentally, more importantly? I think over the years, you spoke about Andres, myself, Shadley, or anyone, you know, Cody, or anyone, you know, who's come in new in the team or debuting this tour. We played a lot of first-class cricket back in our days, back in our home countries, and uh, you know, and that that experience is, you know. Uh, unmatched and uh, that that level of four day cricket and all of that the toil we had over there uh, that after you know after 10 years of first class cricket in any setup I think uh, if if you get a break uh, at 30 uh, for international cricket I think most guys would feel feel home straight away and uh, I think even the major league experience last year uh, with the big guns uh, we played and you know got quite comfortable and most of us did pretty well also who are in the team and uh, and I think that experience uh, from last year was a you know good refresher for us where you know we do belong here and then from there to to now international cricket I think uh, then Bangladesh series or World Cup in the major league I think it'll be great for all of us you know playing this quality of cricket very often and being in this kind of setup anything else you want to say about today's performance or the series as a whole up to this point no I think uh, all I would dedicate is the dedicate this award is to my mom I I lost her three years ago on this day And how much of that was on your mind today going out to the middle and how much of a motivating factor was that for you to, to go out and perform the way you did today? It was way tough to, to, to wake up this morning but, but you know I did my prayers <sighs> sorry sorry man all right, Armit. Yeah, Armit Singh. Sorry. Thank you.